in my endeavor to find a bargain on some curtains and a shower curtain, I went back to the Goodwill I went to, oh, a week or two ago. They had put in this organ. Everything was half price that was marked red. And so this was $99 and it was marked half price. It would be fun, especially somebody with music and learning. You can rig up something on that broken key, I'm sure. Glue a stick on there. All kind of stuff, big old chunky furniture, um, you know, that nobody really wants. And unless they paint it, it seems like everything has to be painted. I mean, some of it is just, you know, the cheap. It was cheap in the first place when you bought it, and it held together, and you just don't want to throw it in the landfill. And there are people that repurpose just like me. And stools, you, I'm looking for two stools, <clears throat> really three. We need three. My son needs some, but you can't find two of anything. And uh, I always look because sometimes people upgrade their stools and you can get a fixer upper and sometimes it's good. But I saw down here that there was some, you know, nice fabric covered uh, dining chairs. And, and I like those chairs, but they were kind of cheaply done and kind of ratted out but it was odd it and they were 20 19.99 a piece so i thought that was kind of steep for the condition they were in and they will sell on blue there's a big old table base with a hideous top i went through the housewares and they really were pretty thin i i glanced up that was the emerald agassi i think rice cooker I don't have an Instapod. I thought that's what that was at first, but one day I'll get an Instapod. I'm happy with my crock pot. I'm always looking for something for the camper, and uh, there was just really nothing there in this section that I could see that I needed. Everybody's got a George Foreman, and look here. I see these all the time now, the flippable waffle irons. I wanted one so bad when they came out, and they were, like, on sale was 29 or 39 I don't need one now. I'm not, I'm not flipping, I'm not cooking for kids now. But um, it was pretty much the same lamps, and Christmas stuff was thrown all over the store. And I should have got that little light right there. It's a nice modern light. It would go real good in my decor back there. I saw this, you know, I'm drawn to the old things, but it had been poorly patched and broken, and it was um, uh, some brothers I had never heard of out of England, and I don't know, maybe y'all can recognize it. Their name was Clemenson Brothers England, and it said semi-porcelain. Now, I don't know what semi-porcelain is, but five bucks for a bowl that was chipped that much, I thought that was kind of steep. You know, there's just a lot of odds and ends right now. They're kind of, I think, been hit hard. Maybe this was, I think, a Monday after the weekend. So that's part of the problem right there. But Mondays is when you find things put out. People have cleaned out their garages and their storage rooms and apartments. And they, they dump things off. These were some kind of drinking glass. There are a lot of them. They were really cute. I don't know what you would use. Somebody used them for candles. And this caught my eye last time I was here. I looked at it. And, of course, there's just, you know, one set of Gibson. They make pretty good stuff. There's a really old uh, flower planter. That's what people used to get for their babies when you had a baby in the hospital. And this was just a transfer wear. First, I thought it might be hand-painted, but no, it's it's a cheap transfer wear. But it's pretty. Yeah, it's just not my not my thing, and I am trying to get rid of stuff. Now, this box caught my curiosity. Ten bucks, and oh, man, I had to pull it out where I could see, get a good look at it. I love little uh, Christmas villages and things. I did not buy it. I didn't take the time to look at it and see what was broken and what wasn't, but it was really, really cute, and I could see that sitting on somebody's table, but for ten bucks... Try to find it on half price day. I'm still looking for the perfect coffee mugs for the camper. And I think I'm going to end up probably getting some insulated mugs. You can get insulated ones now. They don't have to be Yeti. And, you know, they could be, they work good. I wish I'd have picked up that white, that big white, off-white one there, kind of white one. I did not even see it. I was looking at the saucers and the cups for some reason. 
And down here, you know, it's just, uh, of course, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup caught my eye because my son's name is Reese. So everything that is Reese's Peanut Butter Cup I see and I buy. And I really just kind of glance through the clear glass. Like I said, there's so much of it and so much from China. And this right here was plastic. A heavy, well, a loose side, I guess is what you would call it. I thought it was pretty cool. I said, oh, you could drink coffee out of that if you wanted to. I think it was pretty cool, but I did not buy it. I just had to get my hands on it. I'm a textile kind of person. I have to touch things. I, that's why I never order things online. I rarely order online anything. I have to see it, feel it, hold it, touch it. That's just the way I am. If I'm spending my hard-earned money, I don't want to get took. I've been took. My husband's been took ordering stuff for his business. Really pretty stuff. If you're trying to set up a house or somebody loses a home in a fire or you're going to throw a party and you don't have what you need, you can come to the Goodwills and you can find things. Now here, these were like Pyrex plates. And I didn't get a picture of... I, I got a picture of this. This is that old uh, Starburst pattern. My mother had a set of this. That's in pitiful, pitiful shape. I can't believe they even put over a dollar on it as bad a shape as it is. I did find a Pyrex bowl, and it was the, what do you call it, the wheat pattern. I put it back. I don't need it, I'm downsizing. And this I thought maybe for the camper, but the bowl is too little for cereal. That would make us mad. And there was three plates, and I love blue and green, but no, I put it back. When I see the perfect thing, I'll know and I'll get them. They may be used and they may be brand new. I don't know. But you don't know if you don't look. It's like I say, you can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. <laughs> Just one ticket. When it's big, look at this beautiful Christmas pattern. Uh, I don't need Christmas dishes, but if I had to have some, those would be the ones I would want. They were really pretty. I had some really cheap ones I got at an auction. And the little NASCAR plates, I should have grabbed those for the grandkids. But no, I'm downsizing. I should have got that, though. Look how pretty that plate is. I was getting in a hurry. I had seen something I wanted to get over to out on the floor. And I should have picked up that blue fish. It would have been pretty for decor over on the other side of the house. I'm, I'm struggling for things to decorate with. Because I just have vintage antique things. And look here. Now, if I wasn't downsizing and moving, I probably would have picked that up. Just to put flowers in, hang jewelry out of. It's just pretty. Christmas time, crystal ball, you know, Christmas balls up around that. It's just pretty. You just can't deny that anything silver isn't pretty. And this was really pretty to me. And I didn't get it. I said, well, as sure as I get that, I'll break it. And I don't need a pot holder. It's too big to be a coaster. So I didn't get it. It would have gone good, though, with my decor on the other side. And this brought back memories to me. Man, Courier and Ives, candles, those were popular when I, like in the 70s, when I was first setting up house. I had one of those, I think. Those were really heavy. I might have took them if they'd have been light, but they were really heavy. And I'm looking for pans. That was a nice, you know, uh, straining pot right there. But 10 bucks. I don't know. And these, I did not know what these were. They were like brand new. But I don't know what that surface is. I don't know if I want to eat something off a surface. I don't know what it is. And I wasn't about to look it up. This was a really nice set of dishes at one time. They were worn out, scratched up. But it was nice to have them with the lids. And I do have three grandsons. And I do need plates. And red is half price. And I thought those were kind of nice because they were a different shape. And they hold just a little bit more variety of food broken up into it. Just one more thing. And this was a Wilton pan and I do not know what you would cook in that I, it's a weird shape this is the this and that aisle you just 
people, I think, just throw things around and toss them around. and uh, I don't know what that is. I do run through the toys and try to keep my eyes open all the time for a bargain because I'm the bargain queen. I don't pay retail hardly for anything. I mean, it's something big and fancy and brand new. Like right there, look at those. Aren't those pretty? Our garden ridge is gone now, $2.99. It was garden ridge and it went to the home store and now that's gone. Home goods and now that's gone. So I don't know what, what we're gonna get next. This is kind of, I should have grabbed that for a Dirty Santa present, but somebody might have liked it too. I don't know, but it was brand new, a game. And you know, it's good to have a game around when the power goes out. Who's got board games? Lord, I, I think that's the only time we ever played board games was when the power went out around here. It's sad to say with my kids, but that's just the reality of it. If we weren't doing sports or working or yard work, we didn't have a lot of time. So, I don't know. Uh, this is what I was hurrying over to. I had wanted to buy one of these for the grandchildren. Uh, when I first, when they first came out, they were like $49.99. It was $3.99, and it was in good shape, and I did disinfect it and clean it and scrub it. So don't worry about that. It's It got took care of, and I should have bought these trophies just for grins. That wouldn't have took up too much space, I don't think, but I should have. But I didn't. The grandkids would have loved it. They'd have thought they were winners just for their costumes. Sometimes I regret, you know, they say grab it, grab it while you can. And this is just another sparse, mismatched junk. It, this is the worst I have seen the Goodwill, this Goodwill. They have the biggest section and selection of home goods and hardware stuff, you know, for the house. Then the other Goodwills around the area want, like some Goodwills are really big on clothes. This one's got a pretty good selection. That was really thin glass. And it reminded me of like the dollar store. This, I thought, oh wow, spray painted. Huh. It was red, but it was spray painted. So I blew on by that. And uh, I was talking to a lady here and, uh, looking at this uh, beautiful. Oh, look at those colors. It's chip. I don't know. That was probably Walmart or Target. I don't know, but it was pretty. I liked it. It was what did it say there? Noble something. I can't read it. Three nine ninety nine. Lord help. Is that what that said? I don't have my glasses on. That sparked my interest. I'm always looking for canvases to paint over. I had to cover that back up. That was a little scary. <laughs> I got away from it quick, and that was. Uh, some kind of weird candle holder and this was actually burl walnut and it did have a crack and the bottom didn't look good I think it was in pretty rough shape but boy you know that would have looked good sitting up on a countertop I mean not a countertop but a top of a cabinet or in a bookshelf that would have looked good I'm always there's that rack I just don't know what that rack is nobody else does either because it's still there but anyway, uh, I have to go through things. I get so bored sitting at home by myself that when I do keep the car and I do go out, I just thoroughly enjoy myself. I'm fixing to go out today, as a matter of fact, do a little shopping. I need some spray paint. God bless our home. Isn't that cute? That's old chalkware. That probably hung in somebody's house. Um, look how yellow it is, stuff in places. I bet that hung for 40 years in somebody's house. Probably Granny's house. I need a dish rack, but no. It had disgusting goo on it. Oh, my God. Why would you donate something gooey, nasty like that to the Goodwill? Come on, people. Wash it off. Don't do that to people. Ugh. Yeah. Just a bunch of mismatch. Uh, a lot of faces were looking at all of these little dolls and stuff stuck here. It's like everywhere I went, there was a doll out of place staring at me. Uh, these were really pretty. And I have seen, I did not know what kind of shelf, hanging shelf that was. Like I said, I'm always looking for something for the camper. 
and I'm always looking for grandkid toys. This was a bag full of noisemakers, and it was so nice. Those were not cheap toys, and that would keep a baby busy, $2.99. Of course, it would drive you nuts. You should have heard it. It was really, really <laughs> all bells. It was nice. There wasn't just a whole lot uh, in the toy section. Of course, the, the toys that I saw were older toys that caught my eye. I looked right past that gun. I probably should have got that gun. Because those are not cheap. And uh, that's some kind of... Look at the little guitar. But if I brought home a pink guitar, Kevin had had a fit. That little bag right there would keep my oldest grandson and the middle one busy for a long, long time. And this bag here, it was so shoved full of figures for $2.99. I'm telling you, that is hours of entertainment for a child. But these were too little for me to allow to have around the little brother because he's just 10 months old and everything goes in his mouth right now. So I've had to baby proof my house. But isn't that just the cutest little thing, the cutest little bag of goodies? And that was scary. Somebody loved that, and this is what I found for curtains, and this is my shower curtain, and I was just overwhelmed. This was a silver and black shower curtain. I, I almost bought it just to put it up and see, but no, I thought that kind of looked manly like, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but it wasn't good. <laughs> that was a really pretty Really pretty nicely made. This side of town, we get some pretty good stuff in there. Um, I probably should have bought that and just put it in the cedar chest. But I can't do that. I am thinning out. I'm going to get rid of that cedar chest. Actually, probably. I don't know. My kids say they don't want anything. and It's full of all my family memories. So we're going to have to do something with the stuff. I guess I'll write one of those mushy letters and leave everything written out on the list and then they'll feel guilty if they get rid of it after I did. <laughs> those curtains right there were absolutely gorgeous. Those gray ones. I did not get the end of it. It had a beautiful metal uh, ring around the, the hole for the curtain rod. And here I'm walking toward the front and the end caps are just pitiful. And anybody knows that your end cap is where you sell your good products. That's where they should be dumping the new stuff out of the carts. But uh, they didn't have, there was a guy putting out stuff, but not a whole lot. I just did not see them coming around because I did hit the cart uh, before he could get stuff put out of it. Uh, these canisters right here. I'm sure those have a good lid, but I did not want that fruit design. But I am looking for a couple of canisters with the good solid lid for, for my camper so I can put my coffee and sugar in it and stuff. You know, flour. I got to have flour because I cook. So I will need those little things to put in there. And I'll put them in and take them out. I'm not going to leave them in there. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. I should have edited that out, but I didn't. And that's just so dirty. And there's something about that black, that matte black, it just gets dirt on it and you can't dust it off. You can't make it look good. But uh, I'm strolling through here trying to make sure that I haven't missed that deal of a century <laughs> that I need. And looky there, there, there it is. There is the deal of the century. It was still in the cart. The worker caught me. I said, look, I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to get in the cart. Today, goes, oh, that's fine. when I was at the Goodwill, I, I threw my camera down Check in my buggy. I turned it off and threw it down in my buggy to buy this thing, get my hands on it. It was still in the cart. The, the worker was just putting it out. This is a heavy brass, mid-century modern uh, lamp. It's not a Sputnik, but it is of that era. OMG. Will I sell it or use it? I just don't know, but I'm fixing to clean it. I want y'all to see how dirty it is. 
this thing has been hanging somewhere a long time without love and I'm fixing to give it some love oh man yeah let's get this thing cleaned up this is a really good degreaser not the heavy industrial one that I use that one would take the finish off if I put it on here Time. Sorry, y'all. I sing songs. I, I, <laughs> don't I, Kevin? Don't I just I randomly sing? <laughs> Kevin said, "Ask y'all. Y'all ask me what I did with the money. The money for the music lessons. <laughs> when I'm happy or having a good time, I sing." <laughs> My daddy could sing really, really good. But none of us girls could sing. I guess this water's getting hot. It'll take it 10 minutes. <laughs> I keep turning it off. Oh Lord, I just sucked the floor. Are you shiny now? Yeah, I'm sorry with the small skin. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to look it up. <laughs> 